How you doing today? Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about something that I feel is very important and is very inconsistent with many traders. And that topic is position sizing and stop loss placement. So from what I see a lot of is people use the same lot size. Doesn't even matter what the trade is. So every trade is going to be slightly different and the setup is gonna require a certain amount of pips for your stop loss, right? So based on that, you need to adjust your position size accordingly um, if you want to risk the same amount of capital per trade, all right? So what I did, I actually created a spreadsheet here. Um, I have a few different account sizes, um, but I will in the description below, you'll see I did link um, the version that I have shared on Google Sheets. Uh, you'll be able to view it on there if you if you like to check it out afterwards, after this video. Um, but yeah, so basically we'll jump into this chart, uh, the spreadsheet here, and I'll show you what I have. All right, so this first one here, we have a $1,000 account. Uh, many traders begin with a low capital such as this here. So this is the first one we're gonna look at. And what I did, um, because I usually, if I'm scalping, I'll have like a five pip stop loss. Uh, but if I'm planning to hold the trade overnight or you know, if it, if it ends up being kind of like a swing trade, I'll have max maybe a 30 pip stop loss. So that's why I have a, seven, or a five pip stop loss, seven and a half, and I go up by two and a half pips all the way up to 30 pips. All right. So basically, if I were to want, if I wanted to risk one and a half percent on my trade, um, and I was scalping it with a five pip stop loss, I would actually be able to trade uh, thirty thousand units or three mini lots, right, or three point three lots, um, and still be risking one and a half percent of my capital which would be $15, right? But let's jump it up and say I had to use a 20 pip stop loss. Well now, if I was actually still trading that uh, 30,000 units with a 20 pip stop loss, I'd actually be risking 6% of my account. So I don't wanna do that. That's a little bit more than, than some people may be comfortable with, right? So to keep it under that 1.5%, I would actually be trading uh, 0.07 lots or seven micro lots. All right. Um, and then again, with a 30 pip stop loss, I would have to trade 5,000 units or five micro lots. All right. So as your stop loss increases, uh, you need to reduce the amount of units that you're actually trading to risk the same amount of money per trade. All right. So basically what I did on the, the right here, as you can see, I kind of broke it down to see it a little bit easier. For a one and a half percent risk, for a five pip stop, you can trade 0.3 lot. And then slowly as we go up, we are trading less units, but a wider stop loss, all right? And then the same thing goes for if you were trading, uh, if you wanted to risk 2%, right? You can now, if you had a tight stop loss of five pips, you can risk $20 and trade 40,000 units. Uh, but if you did need a wide stop loss and you needed 30 pips, right, you can only trade six micro lots. So there's a big difference there, but um, the risk is the same, all right? Uh, but now, let's jump it up. Let's go to a $10,000 uh, $10, account. Right, so now we could actually, if we're scalping, we can trade a uh, three lot trade with a five pip stop loss, right? Risking still one and a half percent on that trade. And um, as we slowly go up, right, a 20 pip stop loss, we can trade seven th or 70,000 units, and that'd be seven mini lots, right? So as you can see, the trend is the same, basically. Uh, one that will change slightly is the $25,000 um, account, right? 
because now you're going to be risking $350 per trade with 1.5% risk. Uh, but everything is still the same. The units will still decrease the wider the stop loss or the tighter the stop loss, you can increase your units. All right. So like, let's say you opened up an account um, and got funded. There's a lot of funding uh, programs out there nowadays, but the most uh, commonly used is FTMO, right? $100,000 account. Let's say you wanted to take that challenge. This is the chart that you should be using right here, the $100,000 account. And if you were scalping, risking 1.5% or $1,500, you could actually trade 30,000 units with that account. All right, it is a tight stop loss and uh, you gotta be sure your, you know, your, your position and your entry is, is on point if you're gonna be trading that, uh, that tight of a stop, but you can do it. Uh, most people are gonna be using 15, 20 pip stop loss, right? Um, but yeah, you could trade 10, 10 lots if you were uh, opening that that account with them or starting their challenge right on average you can trade about 10 to or well between five and ten lots right depending on the trade setup for for most people all right but this one here if you wanted to do that challenge definitely pay attention to this and like i said you can download it it will be in the description uh, below you will have access to it um but yeah, so th this is a very important topic because I feel a lot of people are very inconsistent with their position sizing. And some people may not even realize that where they st set their stop loss, it's actually changing the risk on their trade because they're always just trading a set amount of units, right? Consistently, they're trading um, one lot, one lot, one lot over and over. But this trade, they're gonna have a 20 pip stop Next trade, they're gonna have a 10 pip stop. The third trade, they're gonna have a 30 pip stop and they're consistently trading one lot, right? So the risk isn't the same on all those trades. It's actually very different, all right? And I feel that is one of the main reasons. Obviously, there's other reasons, but that may be one of the reasons why a lot of traders don't see consistency in their results, right? because they're they're constantly changing it unknowingly all right so um yeah this is something you should definitely pay attention to and start getting a grasp on this and definitely do this before you enter in on your trades right calculate based on risk percentage and your current account size how much you really want to risk on the trade all right so Anyway, yeah, I just wanted to make a short video on this. Um, it is a very important topic that I feel a lot of people should be aware of and start paying attention to when they enter trades. So if you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button. Remember to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Happy trading. Take care.